The Saints have signed three players and released three players. And folks, this is why you subscribe to the channel, because when breaking Saints news happens, we have you covered. Go down, hit that big red subscribe button. Saints Now is sponsored by Mint Mobile. Our newest sponsor here at Chat Sports is the cell phone provider owned by famous actor Ryan Reynolds. We'll talk more about them later on in today's show. We are going to get in to this breaking news, the start of training camp obviously this week, and we have some breaking news to report this coming from Nick Underhill on what has been a very busy day in the National Football League with news. Saints signed center Nick Martin, running back Malcolm Brown. I repeat, the Saints finally signed a running back. It's Brown. And defensive end Scott Patchen. The Saints have waived punter Daniel Whelan, offensive lineman Derek Swinger, and cornerback Jordan Miller. Those three waived. They pick up Martin, Brown, and Patchen. Here is more from Nick Underhill. Brown is entering his ninth season. He appeared in seven games for Miami last season and averaged 3.8 yards per carry on 33 attempts. It is worth noting that was behind the worst offensive line in football. His best season came in 2020 for the Rams when he had 419 yards rushing and 162 receiving. The Saints also announced this, that safety Tyron Matthew has been excused from the beginning of training camp to handle a personal family matter. Really not that big of a deal. Something happened in Tyron Matthews' family. We certainly hope everything is okay, but Tyron is going to miss the start of training camp. Let's talk about Brown because we've talked a lot about the Saints potentially bringing in a running back. They have finally done so. Brown is a veteran, 77 NFL games, has spent time with the Rams, Dolphins, and the Browns, most notably with L.A. Alvin Kamara is facing a suspension. His court date is set uh, very, very soon, early August. So that is very that is why the Saints are potentially bringing Brown in. Here is what Brown did last season in Miami. Really didn't have much to do with the Dolphins' offensive production. 33 carries, 125 yards, one touchdown, 3.8 yards per carry. Now, it is also interesting because Jordan Howard is apparently working out for the Saints today, at least that was the report before they signed Brown. I don't know if that's going to change anything here, but I would much rather have Jordan Howard. I think he's the better running back. I think he would be better uh, in terms of the guy that might replace Alvin Kamara. I think Jordan Howard is by far the better option. However, they have signed Malcolm Brown. So this is what the running back depth chart looks like right now with Brown. Kamara still RB1, Mark Ingram behind him, as well as Dwayne Washington. You have Tony Jones Jr., Abram Smith, uh, Divine Exigbo, and Malcolm Brown. So it's a very crowded running back room for the Saints. So that's why I want to hear, what is your one-word reaction to New Orleans signing Malcolm Brown? It is the pinned comment on today's video. When that break comes, go down, let me know what you think. What is your one-word reaction to signing Brown? Mine is, eh, this is the best you could do. I mean, really? There's better options out there via trade, via free agency. And look, I understand how important running back depth is for the Saints right now. You don't know how long Kamara is going to get suspended. I don't think any of us feel comfortable with Ingram being the guy that's going to replace him. I also don't feel comfortable with Brown being the guy that's going to replace him. And if Brown takes a spot away from a younger guy like Abram Smith, I'm not going to be happy. Let's talk about Nick Martin now, who was a second-round pick by Houston in the 2017 NFL Draft from Notre Dame. He has played in 79 career regular season games. The backup center for the Raiders last season also plays guard, so he's very versatile, can play the center position or the guard position, and we'll get to more signings here in a second and more moves for the Saints. But first, I want to tell you about our friends at Mint Mobile because Mint Mobile is bringing you unlimited talk and text, high-speed data, a mobile hotspot, and most importantly, plans starting at $15 per month. We're all trying to save money right now with inflation. This is a great way to do it. Mint Mobile, unlimited premium wireless, plans starting at $15 per month. If you want to get that deal, which is a great deal, the best deal out there right now, you got to go to that link, mintmobile.com slash chatsports. 
That link is in the comments and the description of this video. Let's talk about Nick Martin, who uh, this is his overall PFF grade. So, yikes. 36.6 overall, 69.6 pass block, 56 uh, run block. So, Martin, not great, but again, this is a depth signing. The Saints did not have a backup center behind McCoy. They do now. It's Nick Martin who will have a chance to compete on this uh, for this for a roster spot. We'll see what happens. But right now, he is the backup center behind Eric McCoy. Now, rate the Saints' offensive line. Scale it 1 to 10. They drafted Trevor Penning. They got Ramchek on the right side. Now they have Nick Martin on this offensive line. Go down in the comments section and rate the Saints' offensive line. Scale it 1 to 10. I think it's pretty decent. I definitely have it, you know, maybe eh, 7, something like that. I still think there's room for growth on the Saints' offensive line, but Penning was a heck of a pickup. I know you lost to Ron Armstead, but Penning, I think, is going to fill that void pretty well. Let's talk about Patchen now. He signed with the Colts as an undrafted free agent in 2022. He played at Colorado State and Miami in college. He was waived by the Colts two days ago. So now he is picked up by the Saints. The Saints add him as part of these moves made today, and he is a defensive end, Scott Patchen. Uh, you might be asking, who the hell is this guy? I'm in the same boat. I don't really know anything about him, but he is a new member of the Saints. Here's what he did at Colorado State. My goodness, these stats are pretty good. 68 tackles, 11 and a half sacks, 19.5 tackles for lost three forced fumbles. The Colts got him as an undrafted free agent. They waived him. Now he is on this Saints team. And with Marcus Davenport on the pup list, maybe they wanted to add some depth at defensive end. They bring in Patchen, who has, is going to be very much a long shot to make this team. Taco Charlton very much on the roster bubble. Maybe that will add some competition to a backup defensive end spot. D-line depth is very important, right? The Saints really pride themselves on their pass rush. They have one of the best defenses in the league, and God forbid if somebody goes down, it's good to have some depth. So Patchen is a depth signing. They took advantage of the Colts letting him go. Maybe they see something in him. He was very, very good last year at Colorado State. So we'll see what he can do for the Saints. It'll be fun to watch him in training camp. And obviously the Saints have plenty of very talented UDFAs. They got Dixon. They got Abram Smith. Now they have Patchen to add to this defensive line. Now, I want y'all to go down in the comments section and type real one if you made it to the end of today's video. Go down, type real one. We're going to be giving some shout-outs on a future show. So we appreciate all you Saints fans watching and subscribing to the channel. If you're not subscribed, let's change that. Go down, hit that big red subscribe button because, my goodness, every time I check my phone, a team has made a signing. I mean, I'm, I'm losing my mind. This is unbelievable. Eagles just made a signing. Dolphins just made a signing. You don't want to miss anything. Subscribe. Turn on those notifications. The Saints might make another move very, very soon.